Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new then hi, my name is Caitlin and welcome to this very special video. It's a brand new project pan and I'm involved, oh my god! <laughs> so, as you've seen from the title, this is called the This Is Fantasy project pan and this is started by Alicia. I will link her down below uh, and as well as everyone else who's doing this project. It's a fantastic ladies project pan which I am a part of which is very strange to say. This is my first fantastic ladies collab that I'm doing. It's very excited and this one just spoke to me. So this is all about fantasy, fantasy creatures, fantasy things, magic, all that good fun stuff. That is my favourite genre. I'm currently reading the Game of Thrones books. I've got them all lined up on my little shelf. I love dragons, I love fantasy, I love all that stuff. So this Project Pan, it just spoke to me. Got me in the feels. And today, the day that this goes up, not today in real life, but the today this goes live, is actually National Mythology Day. So happy National Mythology Day perfect. It, this theme, perfect. So this project pan updates every other month, so it's not going to be next month, it's going to be the month after, which gives me some time to get some progress in. I'm very happy about that because that's scary. <laughs> I'm already doing quite a few projects, not as much as other people, but I am, I am doing a lot of projects, so having two months to work on things, I'm happy with that. <laughs> so, the participants have been given a big list full of different fantasy creatures and prompts to link to different products to be able to pan. And I have got five products, we can pick any number of products that we want to work on. I've chosen five and it is a rolling style project so when I hit pan or hit goal on one of these items, I can roll in something new with a new prompt. Does that make sense? I hope it does. <laughs> so I know you ju you just want to know what I'm panning, what I'm bringing in to this little project pan universe, and I'm gonna tell you right now. Okay, so the first prompt that I chose is Basilisk, and the description of Basilisk, because we've got descriptions as well, the description is King of Serpents, Magical Beast, Bred by Dark Wizards. So, for that the prompt was a dark matte eyeshadow. So I chose my e.l.f. Truffles Bite Size. This is it, and I'm choosing the black. Now this has the tiniest bit of shimmer in it, but I mean, I would use, I use this as a matte. So yeah, I'm gonna be trying to hit pan in this black shade. I said in a recent video, like, palettes that I want to pan completely, and I want to pan this whole palette, so I'm gonna try and start working on this black. I don't think it'll take too long, because I used this shade in my eyebrows for maybe, like, under three weeks. It was definitely under a month, and I hit pan in it, so I'm, I'm pretty confident with that, using it as a liner. I love using black to really deepen out my looks. I love dark, dramatic, smoky looks, so hopefully by the next update in December, it should have pan in it, I'm hoping. But yeah, that's the first one. The next prompt, I've got a wisp of hair that just wants to fly away. <laughs> the next prompt is Elf, and I'll read you the description. A humanoid supernatural being with magical powers and a supernatural beauty, mischievous or malicious. And this is a product that makes you feel beautiful. Now, I have chosen the Pastel Roses Starlight. Look, I, I really don't think the camera is going to do this justice. It is the most, the most beautiful thing in the world. Sorry, my inner musical theatre came out then. Can you see this? It's just like a topper. It, ge it makes your eyes look wet and just beautiful. It's got a slight pinky blue reflect to it, but it's just the most beautiful eyeshadow. I have ever seen in my life. It's like one of them really chunky, not glittery, but like chunky eyeshadows that just... Whenever I wear this, I feel like a magical goddess. So yeah, I love this. This is again the Pastel Roses and it's the shade Starlight. And I want to hit pan in this, which is slightly upsetting because I love this shade so much, but I love it so I want it to look loved, and that is my thought process on that. So yeah, 
that is the prompt elf and that is a product that makes me feel beautiful. So the next prompt is dragon and I will give you the description. A large serpentine legendary creature described as winged, horned, four-legged and capable of breathing fire. And the prompt for this was a large product, packaging, amount, etc. And I decided I'm gonna bring in this Kiko bronzer. Let's, I've got nothing to compare it to. This is like a Clinique mirror. It's about the same size. It's huge. This has 20 grams of product. Not only does it have 20 grams of product, it is also domed. So there is like, if you think I'm gonna try and hit pound in this, you are very mistaken. The goal on this is 50 uses because I'm not gonna be able to hit pound in this for as long as I live. This guy is huge like ridiculously big. <laughs> so yeah, 50 uses on this. This is the Unexpected Paradise Bronzer in the shade 02 Universal Sienna. This is a dragon. This is massive. This is as big as my face. <laughs> it's, it definitely fits the bill. It fits the prompt. Oh, it smells so good. Uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to using this. This is quite new in my collection, so it would be nice to get some proper good use out of that. Okay, the next prompt is Leprechaun, and let me read you the description. A mischievous elf of Irish folklore, harmless if not provoked. Plays pranks typically connected to treasures at the end of a rainbow. And the prompt is a product you'll think you'll have luck with. I think I will have luck with my Maybelline Fit Me powder because it already has a massive pan in it and I want to finish this. I think I can finish this in two months, I think. <laughs> Uh, I'm very good with using powder. I've I've been struggling over the past few months learning how I like my powder, but I think I've got the right combination now. So hopefully I can get this completely done in two months before the next update. I think I'll have luck with this. It's, I mean, the pan's already pretty big. I want to completely finish this and I, I want to use it to repress other things because I've been wanting to franken so bad. I've just got an itch to franken things for some reason. And the last category is witch slash wizard. A person who practices magic derived from supernatural, occult, or arcane sources. And that prompt is a magic themed product. And I have gone with my book of magic palette. Fits the theme perfectly. And I am trying to hit pan on the shade Bewitched, which is this teal shade here. Now I've chosen this shade because it is the perfect combination to Axis from my, I was gonna say Supernatural palette, from my Subculture palette. And that is my Seasonal Pan That palette for this season. So I'm hoping having another teal shade to go with it will help me use that a little bit more. I've really thought about it this time. I haven't just thrown in random products. I've, I've thought <laughs> long and hard about what I can pair. So yeah, the goal is to hit pan in Bewitched. I also featured this in my palettes I want to pan in the future video. So yeah, I'm throwing this in. I, I will get a pan in it one way or another. I've heard that these pans are quite shallow, so hopefully I have good luck. Hopefully, I could have used that for the, the lucky leprechaun as well, but I didn't. I saved this for the magic theme because that's what it fits. It's very magic y. <laughs> so, yeah, they are my five products that I'm going to be working on. This updates every other month, like I said, so I will be back on the 11th of December to update you guys on all of these products. Tell me in the comments what do you think I'm going to hit pan on or hit goal on. I think I'll hit goal on the black, the black eyeshadow. I think I could finish the powder and I could maybe hit pan on Bewitched. We will see. I will be tracking uses. I will not be weighing the products because my scale is bipolar. So yeah, not doing that. But I will be tracking all my uses. So I will update you guys in two months. That is it from me today, guys. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe. I will link everyone doing this project in the description below. Go and check out the founder, Alicia, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.